but let's do some Sunday experiments with the new MacBook Pro. So I've got a good amount of these, several in fact, and I have a bunch of experiments that you guys asked me to try out on the new MacBook Pro. So this is from a collection of comments. We're gonna be trying out five experiments. Now, one of them is to see what will happen if we plug in four of the USB-C chargers, the regular power ones from the MacBook Pro, into the USB-C ports because as you guys know, Apple allows you to charge from every single port now on this new computer. Does it have any sort of protection against you know a huge amount of charge coming in? And the thing is, the reason I think it will actually do something is because the USB killer we actually tried out on the MacBook Pro killed it. Older MacBooks have protection against this, but not USB-C, so maybe something crazy will happen. Two, I want to stick a USB killer into the USB adapter or the actual power adapter to the USB-C and see if my house burns down or something happens. I mean, something should. I know I shouldn't. Could put myself in danger with that, but I will. I want to compare a MagSafe to USB-C, tripping over it. What'll happen? Will it break the port? You know, just, you know, get a real life experiment going here because we know we're going to be tripping over that cable and what will it do to the MacBook port? Will it break it? Uh, will it tear it? Who knows? We'll see. And I want to see if it's possible to blow a speaker on the MacBook Pro. So we know that these things are super loud. Apple has improved them, but what if I were to bump the volume up where I shouldn't and get it to the max, just as loud as it can go, will it damage the speaker and how will it sound? And last one, not related to the MacBook Pro, but a lot of you guys wanted me to stick a USB killer into a power bank, which I'll do. Hopefully it doesn't burn on me or something, but we'll see. Okay, let's get to the experiments. All right, our power bank, which we're gonna be using to power all of these over here to the side. And uh, let's see, we're gonna do this to both. Now the logic behind that is because the 13 inch MacBook Pro, the ports on one of the sides are actually diminished. They don't have the same capabilities as the other side. So there must be a difference here. On the 15 inch, all of them are the same ones. So we're gonna try it on both. Here's some of our power adapters, cables, and pretty much your standard one. So three of these are going to be with the higher end 87 watts, I believe, yeah. And then one of them is gonna be the smaller for the 13 inch because that's all I have at this time. Unbox the last one that I did order over here. And the ridiculous thing is Apple actually sells these without the USB-C cable to charge your computer with. So you have to spend so much more now on not only the power bank, but the actual cable. That is penny pinching from Apple at its finest. Okay, so we have the one cable in to go ahead and begin charging it and now to set up the rest all right oh man this is not going to be easy i don't have enough room on this one problem solved i'll get a little adapter for myself right here so i'm going to go ahead and power it on and as you guys can see it is working okay here is the second 87 watt we're going to go ahead and plug it in and this is without power right now so we don't have anything to worry about Okay, so it is in the second port, and that's two power sources. Here we go. In three, two, one. Hmm. Okay, it's accepting charge. Is there anything unusual over here? Battery is not charging. Power source, power adapter. But with one, battery is not charging. Hmm. Why is the battery not charging? There's no way I could have just fried something. No way. Nothing. Hmm. That is a bit unusual. Let's add more. Maybe it needs more power to begin charging. Maybe that's it. Here is number three. So a lot of cables. Third one right there. We're gonna plug it in on this side now. And I'm just gonna go all the way for four right now. And uh, fourth cable going in. I mean, Apple has to have some sort of protection against this. But then again, it surprised me that it didn't have protection against over voltage with the USB killer. So here it is. The fourth and final one going in. That is four power banks powering this guy. Here we go. I don't know why I'm doing this, but you guys wanted me to. Three, two, one. Okay, so it's not charging. For some reason, it does not want to charge with four uh, USB adapters. I mean, come on. If anything, that's an incentive to charge even faster. But what happens when you plug in four chargers into the MacBook Pro? it doesn't want to charge. Okay, there's a mystery solved. Nothing will happen, no charge, nothing. I'm actually a little worried because at this point, I unplugged everything and it's still not charging from the original adapter. I'm hoping I didn't fry anything with all that current. I'm gonna go ahead and restart and see if that changes anything. So far, it's just drawing power from the adapter, but it's not charging the battery, which is 
not good. Okay, just restarted it. And power source, power adapter. Is this still not charging? Battery is not charging. Okay. I seriously think I just messed up somehow. It is not working any longer. Here we go, the 13 inch. I'm gonna go ahead and plug all of these in and this is with the power or the power adapters off right now. Okay, here we go, power on. So similar results, power is not charging, but it is drawing power from one or several adapters. I'm not really sure there. So this next test is extremely dumb. I am putting myself at risk doing this and I honestly feel like it's gonna trigger the breaker in my house and the lights are gonna go dark, we'll see. But USB killer versus the power bank. Now I'm not going in empty handed. I am putting on these anti-electricity gloves basically. They're insulated so if there's any chance of getting shocked, these will minimize it. All right, let's put this on first thing. I'm not getting shocked again by the USB killer. Last time it was from a phone. This time we're dealing with raw electricity here. So let's unplug this, plug the USB killer into a USB type C port. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Let's see if we can get any sort of spark coming out of here. Oh shoot, yeah, there is definitely. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared honestly of what's gonna happen right now. Here we go. Super dumb, don't do this at home guys. Uh, okay, I heard a little click. Once again, nothing this time. So I'm assuming I literally just killed it. Okay, plugging the charger back in. Okay, nothing. So seems like plugging a USB killer into an adapter will kill it. All right, so what about a power bank? This is a one milliamp output. It's not as strong as a Samsung one, but it's certainly there. Okay, so unplugging and plugging it in. And three, two, one. Um, it thinks it's being charged. That's the symbol for the charge. And does it charge a phone? Yes, it still does actually. Not bad. Power bank survives the USB killer. For this next one, it's gonna be a little bit painful. I gotta warn you guys, but I wanna know what happens if you yank super, super, super hard on a USB-C because when I trip, it could start a mass extinction, seriously. So that's why MagSafe is so important in my life, but oh my goodness, all right, I'm gonna apply some pressure here and uh, we're gonna yank really, really, really hard. One, two, three. Oh, oh my goodness, I bent it so hard. The port actually expanded a little bit to the right. The metal is bent. So let's do it a couple more times here. So one, two, three. All right, let's get some more grip here. One, two, three. Oh man. Oh, look at that. I literally just bent the uh, USB C. Oh my goodness. How about inside of here? So I literally bent the metal. So it is pretty durable, but not as durable as I thought. That's why it would be so nice to have MagSafe on here. Let's see if it still works though. <laughs> I'm really, really curious. And it does not work. Um, let's try it in another one right here. No, unfortunately, I think I killed the actual charger. It's definitely more likely that your cable will get bent if you trip over it this hard. Oh my goodness, that is so bad. Okay, so last test, the sound audio output. Can we blow a speaker? Oh my God, I just played like two seconds of this and I hate my life already. Seriously, I'm sorry I'm doing this to you guys. I got my earplugs. You probably should put yours in if you have some. And sound on. 82 decibels, let's make it louder. And all the way on VLC. So only 99 decibels actually. I expected a little higher. Let's uh, try it in a different sound boosting application. So this time I got 105 decibels. Can we get it louder somehow? Let me sound boost the sound boosted track. Okay, that's enough ear rape. Uh, 113 decibels is as loud as I could get it to go. I kind of wonder if there's any way to get into the system and alter this uh, without Apple allowing you to just, in a way, just put the speaker output max beyond what it's supposed to do. So that's just about as loud as it's gonna get. Um, 
yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm sorry I put this MacBook through so much torture. I destroyed it. I broke its charging ability. I destroyed a USB-C cable and a lot more, guys, but that's just about it. I won't be destroying any more. It's time to use it, and I'll have my full review out for it soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Just a little experiment collection. Peace.